Good evening, everybody. I was popping in on Jetstream before I started. He's having a wild time with Final Fantasy 16. Like, I was half tempted to just continue watching. But, like, I did tell myself that, like, we're gonna get that dress. What dress, you might ask? Well... The hero of Middenhall, or Loiza, he's got ultimate armor in Edric's set. The prince is set out of luck. The princess, though, I highly suspect because Toyama, but like, I vaguely know about those, the three brains behind Dragon Quest, that like, it could have been any of their idea. The princess has got a flowing dress for her ultimate armor. Really, it does explain why the prince is such a joke, doesn't it? When two out of the three party members have got ultimate armor. But, I thought I wasn't going to need it. But given how we got wrecked in that cave, I think it'd be wise to go get it. That's going to be our goal. And who knows? We might also become pansexual like life. Uh, if you've seen this VOD, like, go watch Jet's channel. His 16 one is wild, but like, obviously if you don't care about 16 spoilers, do that. With that being said, let's go get ourselves a dress. Also, I noticed Jet followed me today, which I thought he was following me this entire time. We'll have to thank him for the follow I don't find able. Oh, why right, I forgot to. Can you tell I was grinding between sessions? Like, I love Dragon Quest music, but like, when I'm grinding, I just mute and put on like a podcast or something. Anyway, fortunately, I have a good enough idea of like, where if he is. This should be a relatively clean sweep. Also, if we get enough money for it, I'd like to buy the mid coat for the prince. But like, yeah, he's cannon fodder, but like, at the same time... The longer he survives, the better. Anyway, our first destination is the two towers that we use to cross the continent. Yeah, so. But I know I got confused about this early in the playthrough, but I have since looked out context. It's not on the side that we jumped. Hang on. Just so that I can see the chat. It's on the other tower. Which we completely skipped over. But according to the wiki, it's got the same enemy, so this shouldn't be too hard. Cause, uh... Okay, good, we're not stupid. But what I understand is on this side. Wait. Now we just look somewhere here. Hmm. 
Oh? I am gonna quickly go look. It's a subtle... No, it's the... Still see your sky, yeah. Specific, specific tile on the third floor. Okay. For some reason I had it in my head there was on the top floor. Whatever, we can fix that. But not like we've got to take much damage. But like we go get this, and then we go over to the bottom, uh, bottom right hand side of the map. Because what I remember, we need to go into that church, and there will be a loom there or something like that. And then after that, we. Head over to the place where we use the water gate key. We talk to our old man. And either we up at the end or, or we start the game. But if it is we start the game, I'm an idiot. Hey, this is the first floor. This is the second. Should be somewhere around here, from what I understand. There we go. Oh, you know what me? The princess needs her inventory full, specifically. Okay, she's good. Oh yeah, I should also say... The princess learned outside. This is gonna be really useful. I believe one of them also learnt a general buff for defense. I wanna say it was the prince. But like, when we get to 8, I'll have complaints, but like, for, for what I play the Dragon Quest, a lot of the games come down to like, when you use your buffs, and how much you have your buffs on. Oh, fuck this! Oh yeah, in case I haven't mentioned it, we also forgot the Thunder Sword, which is what I thought... What I was remembering, ah. What I was remembering the uh, sword of Watto being. Like, this will probably be just like a general cleanup stream. Because we'll get this dress. We'll go and get the thing we need the sigils for. And then we'll set up to go and grab that Thunder Blade. And if we can, we'll get through the cave of Red Dark, but like, I... We could do it, we could not do it, I don't know. Like, where I see it, the game could end next week, the game could end... Like, next month. Because the last two dungeons, i.e. the cave and Bang Dagon's temple, Dagon's temple, wasn't what it was, they are infamously hard because of that game only being coded a week.
Like, I believe I do get a checkpoint after the cave. There is gonna be, like, the... Dragon Quest streams where, like, we just... Go until we... Can't. We fail well, then we just go back to... Grinding. Not that I'm in any, any particular worse, to be honest, but still. Okay, what's one? Oh, playing. Nice. Well, I swear I fixed the church, but I must have been just mis misremembering. There we go. Now we hit, gotta head back to the uh, water town. Not the water town, the uh, water river town. Probably for the best if we just go up like diagonally. I don't wonder we know how the lads are doing the 16 right now. But I enjoyed watching them. But like, I know I'm not in a particular rush, but like, I did tell myself we're gonna get the dress at least tonight. Which, I mean, we are well on the way to doing that. I presume we can just keep following the path we took to raise the river. And after that, we... Actually, it would have been wiser to follow, like, down. Too late now. Can we need the other water temple? The one with the fuck ton of stairs. Yeah, I've been doing my research. Maybe. So would the other swine happen to be the one we're approaching? Like this way? No. So maybe we should have picked it up while we were at it. Oops. Let's run from that, because that's going to take a while, and we're almost there. And by take a while, I mean like three turns. Whoops. I'm surprised that to my knowledge there's no upgraded wizard staff. Reminds me. Okay, it's on author. Cookie. Like, from what I understand, the final battles are gonna be him buffing up, buffing everybody up, and then the uh, hero just kind of taking them out one by one, or taking books out one by one. 
And of course, bosses, I've got to stop doing that. We. Easy as that, easy as that. Oh yeah! One of... Guess regulars asked me earlier, and I was meaning to talk about it on stream. I tried to learn how to make gumbo. Because... I saw... Three? I mean, four VTubers just arguing about it. How the fuck do people discover these foods? Like, mix together flour and oil and just add on, like, a whole bunch of food? I don't know. Like, one of the recipes gave me an idea to use, like, sausage and just cook, like, both ends. Till brown. I cooked some garlic bread to try and play with that idea. If I looked at the pans that this that came with this house, are uh, a little bit useless when it, when it comes to cooking sizzlers. But at the same time, sizzlers are kind of like cheap sausages anyway. So I shouldn't be too surprised about that. Okay, now our goal, goal is to rest up at the end. And if this doesn't work, we're gonna find a save place, we're gonna save, and we're gonna... ...the quick restart. That being said, where is the end? Okay, there we go. I hope I don't have to restart, though. the door. Down there. We'll give it one more day. And if not, well, time to save and quit. I wish I had done this beforehand, though. We've been a perfect way to end off last stream. Baga! I suppose you're gonna save. Oh well. What if we had a spell like return? Incredibly convenient. Yes. No. Give me one moment, because I do not want to get in trouble.
sweated. I feel I should remind you this game did not see, or this version of this game did not see a physical English release. Just like, I've heard vague stories about people getting got by using emulators on Twitch. So I'd like to play it safe as much as I can. Because I'm not hiding the fact that I'm using one. Which I mean, I do try to do legit whenever possible. But I don't feel too bad about that. It's just the snares were look very pretty to me. And I didn't know the Switch or the PS4 port existed. I don't think we're too far for the town though. I think we're just going down. Also, as a side, in the original NES version, it was possible for a glitch to get two of these dresses. Because the game items just check to see whether the other counted or not. Or, no, 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 that's how it works now. It checks if they're in your inventory. And while the dress is not be- while the dress is being made, the dress is not currently in the inventory. Nor are the parts. So if you take this time to uh, recollect the items, when you talk to the guy again, you can make a second dress. In my knowledge, that doesn't work in this version. Okay, yeah, just keep going down following the island. Also, this occurred to me, for just a weird 18 minutes ago, or 41 minutes ago, he must have done that while he was streaming. Which again, like, if you ever see this, thank you for that, Jet. I really appreciate it. And that's a little bit mutts. Like, I always want, I always feel so scummy when I talk about monetization and stuff like that, but like... It'd be nice just to get, like, family off the back. And also so that I can relax and work a little bit. And by relax, I mean be less tied to it. I went the wrong way. Where the fuck am I? Oh, I'm on the other side. Over here. There we go. Also, holy shit, we're ha almost half an hour in already. And here I thought the dress would be a quick thing. Well, see, if you want to know the one that I'm not looking forward to, I'm not looking forward to... Oops. Not looking forward to getting the signal. Signal thing, because like I don't remember where that temple is. Like we should get through relatively unfazed. I mean, it's not like the enemies of the sea can really bother us anymore. 
but it, they do chip damage, so like eventually they'll wear us down, but like that's an eventually thing. Damn, that orc's gotta be tanky. And now it's gone. That being said, if we get the money for the big cart, I really should go grab that. Got it, Mr. Man. Where's our dress? <laughs> What's I mean? Uh... Yeah, that's the way. Somewhere there is artwork of that. There we go. We can sew this off real quick. Like, he's not kidding when he calls her a beautiful woman. Especially in dress. It's just... It comes across a little bit pervy. In a fun way, of course. That being said, we should probably equip that. Alright, who's got it? He can equip it, but like... We're gonna obey the old man's wishes. Why wouldn't we? Apparently that's going to make her immune to damaged tiles, like the lava or the prompted shirts. It's also going to make her, like, take half damage for the spells, if I recall correctly. Oh, just to make sore. Nothing happened, okay. Granted, I could just load up the wiki page again. And read off its list of abilities, but I think the two of it. That being said, cause no more evasive, evasive cloak. He's also going to be taking a lot more damage just gradually. So maybe we are good on the prints. I mean, said Kylie, fuck off with that poison set by now. Oh yeah, the evasion cloak. I mean, if we leave him, uh, leave him with it, he can at least dodge the odd hit. A uh, dodge tank is still a tank.
Oh yeah, we could we could cast return. But uh, that'll just take us back to the port, right? I don't know, which one's closer? I think both of them are still pretty far away, so it doesn't really matter. Anyway, we. Let's just start casting with Pell, but at the same time, we need EXP. Like, I was reading that strategy wiki from last stream, and apparently, players recommend the hero be in his 30s. But I believe we are 23. Yeah, 23. So they're not gonna fight like huge battles, but like when we see what we can take out in a turn, we're gonna do that. Where are we? Through. Also, where my mind is wandering. Before I hop, before I was watching Jetstream, I was watching Joe's stream, where he was playing through Diablo 4. I think I said this on Jetstream, but like, I don't. I didn't even know Diablo 4 had a single player mode until Joe started doing that. And like, it looks fine, but like, I would. If I'm gonna do any game like that, it's gonna be Diablo 2 or. That War, Warhammer Chaos Bay that I own. Okay, let's investigate the islands. That's the teleporty thingy. I still don't understand how the teleport thingies work. I feel like I need a map. The yeah, saw. I think we can take these out fairly quickly. person to have that, but oh well. At last somebody has that. Also, if we are gonna fight, I should try to take out those Hawkmen last, because that's how I got that Devil Tail figure, that's actually pretty valuable. And I don't know if I've said it before, but there's a way to manipulate the drops in this game. Whatever drops the item you want, you kill it last. That being said, there still needs to be a counter which will drop items. Okay, what if those was the... Uh, TK via that one. Oh my me, I forgot to look up what drops the madcap. Uh oh.
But like, I'm not gonna go out of my way to get one, but like, if we can get our hands on a mad cat, that'd be really nice. Just to say that we did, of course. But anyway, where's that shrine? You're on route to the second one, it seems. Whip. No cam. Whip off his tail. Wheelie. Oh, we're playing this now, are we? Alright. Duke the Dragon! And this should take too much longer. Did I just straight up immune to magic, or am I just consistently missing? Hey, Jet. Thanks for the wait. Hey, Myla. The hell was Far Fancy 16? Do we have fun with Clive and his kits and tools? Hey, Jet. It was very gay. Oh, he missed the island. But I'm just doing like last minute cleanup. And then we go to the cave of Red Dark or whatever. Which is the pre ultimate dungeon. After that, we go to Hagen's Castle, and that's the end of the game. My holy is the, the best. Yeah, let's play. You have achieved Super Saiyan Horror Super Saiyan. Like, it does look like you guys were having a lot of fun on those. Oh, is this it? Yes! From what I understand, at the bottom of this stupidly long corridor, There we go. Note that there's five quests but only four flames. A beautiful voice is heard out of nowhere. Who is it that called me? I am the spirit of the great land, Rubus. What? You are descendants of Watto? Then listen to me. Hey, the spinning hamster, I fucking love those emotes. Long ago, I made a promise with the great hero Woto. When you sewed up, I remembered that promise. Now, let me grant you my protection. Someday when you are disoriented and tricked by evil illusions, use this. Without fail, I will assist you. Now go, descendants of Woto. I will always watch over you. What if that's supposed to be the bird? I could tell! <laughs> eh, fudget. If in a house we're about halfway done up, 
dead ourselves. Because I don't think we have enough for that big card. No, we do not. So I'm gonna try the cave one last time, i.e. the Thunder Sword. And either we get our hands on the Thunder Sword and make our way to the cave. We get our hands on the Thunder Sword and wipe, or we just wipe. Dragon Quest 2 is one of the OG RPGs in general, if it helps. Like... Way, way back, like, in the early days of video games, there used to be a series called Ultima. It was one of the, like, very first RPGs. It had, like, its entire one. Or at least the entire one that people care about. At one point it got bought by EA, and EA did an EA. Yeah. Anyway, Ultima inspired like in a whole underground RPG genre. And one of which was a game called Dragon Quest. Or, if you're an American, back in these days, Dragon Warrior. Dragon Quest over in Japan was hugely influential. Eventually getting a sequel, which is what we're playing right now. Like, you might have noticed the strange voice calling for... talking about a hero named Roto. That is the protagonist of the first game. I am late 20s. I want to say I'm 27. Yeah, I'm 27. So like, this game is almost double my age. Like to go uh, back on the RPGs, this game and then is the first Yeast game, and then the first Sin Megami Tensei game, and then I want to say it's Dragon Quest Three. At that point, you get Final Fantasy. Like, it's kind of funny that, like, Final Fantasy is so relatively young in the grand scheme of, like, Japanese RPGs. What is that? Heart Eye 26 Dead. <laughs> Where'd you get those emotes out of Kiyosi? Because they're great. This is like the dancing one. I'm always a fan of dancing emotes. Heartless Halo. I have to check that out after this. The dancing one is new, so I had to give it a try. I understand that. They normally do D and D and DBD. I assume by I assume DBD is Death by Daylight. Cause that game always looks fun, but I'm not that big into like horror, the horror the genre. Like, I think the only one of the licensed, licensed bad guys that like I've seen a movie of is Chucky and the screen guy. I think I say, is Chucky in that game? He's gotta be. Yeah, Ghostface. I went the wrong way. 
Ok, Ian. Chucky, fuck my damn phone. I understand. Auto clicked. Screws me up plenty. Like, one of my favorite things nowadays is thanks to a, another streaming friend called Accident Salad. Whenever I type accident to my phone, it auto clicks to accident all caps. But it abuses me greatly. Oh, Chucky's new. I mean, it does seem like a really good game. A unique game as well, because like, the only other game I can think of is ironically after that Friday the 13th game. Or Evolve is like, you're around doing that. But Evolve is long dead. Oh, people have been mispronouncing my name since like the dawn of time. <laughs> well, the dawn of me, I should say. But, like, I don't mind if people mispronounce my name. But what I usually stream uh, kind of depends on my mood. Like, Monday and Wednesday is like whatever I want it to be. Yeah. Friday nowadays the bigger projects. Right now it is Yakuza 1. Which I've been enjoying a lot. And the weekends have been the Lego games. But like when that finishes up. We will switch Yakuza after that. But like what I like to play is usually like. RPGs, platformers and mech games. Like those are the genres I say I would keep coming back to the most. Like on the VOD channel. Ooh. I want to eventually. Like it might not be on stream for a while because I do not have a capture card but like at some point I want to play that game. Well, like, it doesn't look like the most complex platforming game, but, like, it doesn't need to be. Like, it looks like it's just, like, fun time first, and, like, that's perfectly fine. A little bit too far. Like, I compared it to a Kirby game several times, and, like, it does have that same energy where it's, like... If you just want a fun... Uh, experience it's there for you if you want something harder go for 100 percent and like god damn to dress up in that game like that rose dress yet had that's so pretty i don't think i did actually what was the incentive to go back now that you mentioned it? Because I know when he sewed off the bosses, they had extra misses to them for more points. Oh, fuck right. Hang on. Okay, it does damage us still. Maybe I should have gone to the end first. Yeah, yeah, we're going back to the end first. Well, I will not spoil, fair enough.
Also, that being said, I was... Wait, no, 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 no. Let's not go to yet, Ashley. I remember what happens if you do that. I've been pretty good. Like, I've been better, but like... I've been worse as well. My phone being slutty is by accident. Does the phone just slowly slide into a speedo or something? Got all the lace. Oh, I thought nothing of that. <laughs> hey boss, how's it? That being said, I gotta quickly tab out. Dragon quest to hub the sword. When you fall down the pitfalls and ladder, huge rectangular room with a single staircase in the upper right corner. Okay, so I need to fall down the pitfalls. That should be easy enough to do. It doesn't matter, actually. Uh, I gotta take that as a yes. Large rectangular worm. Yeah, is this the large rectangular worm? Bottom left then. We said B Kiawa. Isn't the bottom left the one that I just went into went in from? Let's increase, just to keep ourselves alive. Let's see if I can make these guys nice. But from what I understand, surrounding an enemy will make them less accurate. I mean, stomach pain didn't work. Oh, God. I hope things have ended up all right when it comes to the stomach pains. Listen. Later I found... Oh, oh, I'm glad I did read the other half of that. Because, like, to be as vague as possible, I have heard stories about that kind of thing, and it makes me so glad that I am a man. But, like, I don't know how women deal with that kind of thing, and bad respect to them for it. Like, I assume for that, as well, like, all's well, relatively well. It was at least good to hear. It can't be this one, then. So can I find a map real quick? Map 
tap dance. I think I understand this. That's good. As long as you can laugh it off. I don't really know what to take. Oh, damn it. It's weird, like... Dragon Quest in general is fairly rare on Ethers or its equivalent. Oh, fuck. Yeah, for some reason in this game, I am feeling like the lack of MP. The one, two... Bugger. Better slimes! Nice! In case you're not familiar with Dragon Quest, Metal Slimes have got a gimmick to them. They have maxed out defense, so you only give... You only take one damage at a time. And occasionally they will run away, like you just saw Bunsen and do. But you kill one and they will give you a fuck ton of EXP. And like, to double back to like how influential Dragon Quest is, like you'll... Metal Slides are one of those things that like, once you know about them, you'll start noticing references to them in other RPGs. I did a tribute to them in the uh, later Yakuza games, which... I can't... I actually can't see I have my headphones on. Ah! Fair enough. If it has metal slimes, basically are uh, exactly what you would just pit picture, just... When you hear metal slimes. I like vaguely metallic looking slime. Was this just a bathroom thing? Maybe uh, the walls? Is this different? Not Tasty Slime, got it! <laughs> I mean, there might be one of those like Japanese pop up restaurants with like metal slime, rice, or something. But yeah, in general, no. So now I'm wondering now, what do middle slimes- Well, as you know, what do Dragon Quest slimes in general taste like? Cause like... Ah... Uh, ah, one of the monsters has been eaten. I don't even know what it was. I wanna say the pepper things. Ah, that's bad. All of them got surrounded. Unless, of course, what is Optimus Prime? <laughs> I see it's the voice. I sleep, I wake, I sleep, I wake. Oh, because I'm attacking with the white mate. This is why we pay attention, ladies and gentlemen. What did I pay? 
pass it. There should be a staircase somewhere here. Still love these things, color scheme. I am a sucker for red and purple. Like, my default avatar has just got a outfit just of it. So these skeleton, skeleton knights really please me. But sadly I gotta kill them, all the same. Let me see, I also need to heal up. Okay. The point of the matter to you... Kill them all! The point of the matter to you if you're audio only, but I'm... referring to the prince and the princess by different names because... I don't know where Orpha and Linda come from, but in, I want to say, Fortune Street. The names are listed as Cookie for the Prince and Pudding for the Princess. Yeah, very Toyama if you're familiar with DBZ and its names. Let's be referring to them as Cookie and Pudding. I think the game also gives them Priscilla and Princessa or something like that. But they they're less memorable names are so... I'll leave myself to do. Oh my god, that cat's got a gun. Fucking hell, I took a lot of damage there. Oh, I just know a funny number! Yeah, just in case. I see, no. Pretty has got more MP. Heal up. If we fail, it might pay to fill out the inventories with healing herbs off stream. Yeah, fire bait. If you can't solve this problem with fire, there's not a problem worth having. Okay, I can see the half damage. That's got that's gonna be useful for keeping the princess alive. I uh, should also say the uh, hero is I think a knight in Final Fantasy. The prince is Closer to a green maze than anything. Though he's a mix of a green maze and a black mage. Well, the princess is the archetype for the squishy healing white mage. The next time your white mage dies to a con mob, just blame the princess and moon moonbrook. So honestly, it feels like she's tankier than the prince. But then again, she has ultimate armor and the prince does not. This 
I am surprised they never bothered giving the Prince a ultimate armor in any of the remakes, but like... I think at this point everybody knows like the memory with the Prince being useless. Are we really getting stuck in this room again? And nothing happened, fair enough. Three, one. No. Baga. Let's try to nuke him with fire again. That worked so well last time. So we might have to pop, pop one of those prayer wings. Can we pop one? Ah, uh, no. We'll use up this MP as far as it can go and then we'll pop the... Uh, the prayer wing, just in case it snaps. They'll love this color scheme. Maybe I'll eye drop the Sage of Red and Purple. See if I can recreate these knights. But that will be something off stream. For what? I have not the faintest clue, but uh, But I'll figure something out. I'd say for the game playing me, but like, we're pretty set on the me being the heroes. Just kind of like the idea of like, in theory, in theory doing the saintsy hero, saintsy hero, saintsy hero. Oh right, the orc king heal heals. And hits like a, and something hit me like a truck. The imps, and yeah, they can be very cute. Like Dragon Quest is also a good source of like cute monsters in general. Like the iconic slime springs to mind, but. Much, much later on in the series, you get like little sprite things to dress up as the previous hero parties. I find them so adorable. Like sometimes when I play monsters, I have to stop myself and just make it like cute parties. We'll get to that when we get to that. Oh! Yes. Ooh. Iron Spear. You know what, Saw? as well then. But I've been told... Well, we'll see eventually, I guess. From what I understand, the uh, mystery cap reduces the MP cost of spells, so I think we're about... Yeah, we're about to see that.
Yeah, that's a big jump. Do we get another one? I think that's a bad idea to find for another one, but at the same time... You know, both our mages would be really good. Pop in the fire wing. Like, the fire wing is renewable, but like, if it snaps, it will break for good. You have to go get another one. Which is why I'm a little bit more cagey with them compared to an E3 and Final Fantasy. It's like eventually we will get like proper casinos, which will make the make stuff like the prayer wing easier to get our hands on. But right now it's just a really scuff slot machine, so paging me is still a thing. Press up, I guess. I'm trying to think what other cute monsters there are, though. Those mechanical sparrows, when they come in, they'll be cute. As scary as they are, the mimics can also be very cute. I mean, it's just like a TV ch chest with eyes and a tongue. Because you don't want to be on the receiving end of that tongue. This is also... I have not... Like, when we get to 3, it'll be familiar territory, but this game, no. But I always know, I've always known it as the uh, kind of unloved middle child of, like, the classic 3. And I can see why playing it, to be honest. I don't know if I've missed this before while you're around, but... Allegedly, the last third of the game, which would be this and the next dungeon. Allegedly, that was coded in a week. Which, like, keep that in mind if you ever see, like, any jank in, like, the last third of this game. Like, it's not excusing it, but, like, you understand. I think the Dragon Quest that I've beaten is just 3 and 8. I don't think I've beaten any of the Monsters games. I just gotta play those until I get bored. Where is this? Is this where the pitfalls are? Oh, hello! Well, we did see a variant of these things earlier. But I'm more than a little bit worried about that 
wagon. You know, let's see if we can put it to sleep. It didn't work on Dragon. Okay. Let's try it again. It didn't work on Dragon. Okay, you heal yourself up. Let both of you heal yourselves up. As an aside, I was browsing Twitter one day and I saw some guy say that, like, we always hear about, like, the hero that saves a, saves a princess for a dragon, but, like, can you, how many things can you name when that happens? I can figure the original Dragon Quest and I can figure Shrek. And like this kind of sucks me when it comes to like medieval dragon ever since. Cause I'm sure there's other cases of that. But none that I've come across. Or none that I remembered. Some source happened in some isekais because Dragon Quest did it. Aid sealed. That sounds cursed. Understand. Is that all over this side of the castle? Or the cave, I should say. Ah, magic vampires. Wait, is that where the cat drops from? Oh well, we might find out. I'm gonna go AFK for a tad. Fair enough, you do you. I feel like we're still just kind of trying for the Thunder Sword, and if we get it, great. If we don't, well. Fuck. Let's give it about time that we start to wind down anyway. Does it work then? We don't go too long. Drag this out any more than we have to. Oh, who leveled up? Me. Oh. Oh. Oh, all three. Damn, no new spell. Not like it really matters, to be honest. Well, I suppose the more prepared we are for hang on, the better. I see on that note.
Get that extra little bit of safety. Our inventory is full, so you know what? Actually, I should focus on the York King, because he can heal. Nice. Now fuck him up! Okay, bottom left. I assume this is not the room is further in. You look cool! I didn't know the flames were here already. Ah, but fuck, the knights have already upgraded. I highly doubt the fire is gonna work on the fire, but it's worth a sort. Fair enough. Focus that on the night. You know what? The healer should be able to handle this. Oh fuck yeah, we lost our first player wing. That's not good. As an aside, when we eventually get to the 3D games, these fire monsters look amazing in those games. Oh fuck, you need, you need to use your player wing as well. Ah, uh, I really want that sword, but I'm not sure if we're gonna get it. Blue Skelly is interesting. It's a good color scheme. I prefer the uh, one for the other skeletons, but like, this one's good as well. It's Firebane. This is in a hopefully we can knock out the Berserker. Or that can happen. Figures. Oh, fuck. But well, here goes Cookie. Let's 
Jeez. You're at PC now. Ah. Oh, what? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. You know what, before we throw this away, hate sealed. Is it indeed a curse sealed? Discard the demon's tail. Does this work? Ah! I've got to see this taste from the coffin if you give it to her. Okay, when it's clear. Damn it! Can we run away? Nice! We passed that. In case I look... Oh, I can take you. To save a little bit of face, I feel I should remind you can't see those... Well, I could just load up a map. But those pitfalls aren't visible until we fall down them. Let's do it just in case he drops the madcap. But I'm not holding my breath for a second one, but if we get a second one, that would be really nice. Go for the defense and the discount. Maybe I should buff for the attack. Have fun with the de death by daylight. May you be the one jump causing the jumps and not be the one jumping or getting spooked. Unless you enjoy getting spooked, in which case, I don't know, get fighting by everything. But like, for the littlest worth, we probably won't be too far away, given the state that we are in. But like, with the sword without the sword, we wipe, we are gonna call it. Just if we get our hands on the sword, we're gonna make a play for... 
We're gonna make a play for outside this cave. Let's see if we can load up a map of this floor. I found a map, but it doesn't say where the pitfalls are. I guess we just gotta play this as carefully as we can. Oh! Okay. I think I get the gimmick, for lack of a better word. But they're gonna keep healing the metal slime. Can we flee? Nice. There he is. That might have been a bit overkill. But hey, you know what they say, there's no kill like overkill. Ah, oh, that's not good. Fuck! Oh fuck! No, I did not mean to do that. That is so close. So Cookie is dead again. Read that sword description one more time, eh? Find your way to floor five, make your way all the way north, then east into a side room. Okay, let's do that first. Fuck off! This is bad. Even before now we get the madcap. This is incredibly bad.
we have on us anyway? Why do we have a copper sword on us? Nope! Whip! <sighs> that was the most defeated drink I've done in a long time. The two guys in the coffin, please. I feel so defeated. I knew there was a chance of that happening, but I still feel so defeated. Good. This is what we're just about to do. Yes, please. No, sorry. I don't really know what to say aside from like reiterating like how defeated I feel. You know, let's quickly save that map and let's see. If we can elaborate a little bit more. Yes, saying on the stream. We need to go into the downloads. Like, oh, that's level three. And that's level five, which where, where was I actually? Was I there? Yeah, okay, that's level four, level five. Okay, five B. So I assume I need to get on to 5A? I'm confused. I might look up a video between streams and me just looking this... Brain. I might look up a video of somebody doing it and just go mentally form a map or something. See if that helps me, cause I thought I was on floor 5. I saw the pitfalls and I guess I wasn't. I don't know. But regardless, I think I'm gonna let you go and I'm gonna go to bed. I don't know. Next time we meet on Twits, it will be on Friday for more Yakuza. Unless we go over time with Stellar Blade on Jet's channel, in which case it will be... ...on Saturday for more... ...Lego Batman 3... ...the Yakuza at night. But if you're on the VOD channel, tomorrow should be a quick look. Of what asked to be in three weeks' time. And Friday should be accusal as per usual. But that will be off. Till next we meet. May your loot drops be lucky and good luck and have fun everybody. I'm out.